Now we're going to learn how to finish the accounting cycle. So the accounting cycle is a process by which companies produce their financial statements. Worksheets help by summarizing lots of data in one place. So the accounting cycle begins with assets equals liabilities plus equity and revenues, expenses, and draws are set to equal zero because they are temporary accounts. So accounting entries will occur during the period. This is, these are the most common and most repeated transactions. There's going to be lots of transactions that happen during the period. And then at the end of the period, accountants will do adjusting entries and they will do closing entries to close the temporary accounts, revenues, expenses, and draws, and have them affect capital either going up or down, depending on how they affect capital. So basically, capital will absorb revenues, expenses, and draws. So we're going to have a diagram on the next slide showing you the accounting cycle. So the accounting cycle starts here, up in the upper left. And notice this dashed line represents the accounting period. And everything below the dashed line represents the activities that happen at the end of the accounting period. Now you might be wondering, well, how long is an accounting period? Well, this accounting cycle occurs so the company can do their financial statements. So if the company is a publicly traded company, which means they have a stock on like the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ, they have to produce their financial statements quarterly. So an accounting cycle for them would last three months. Smaller companies that are not traded on the stock exchanges, they will probably only produce their financial statements at the end of the year. So their accounting cycle is more likely to be 12 months. So what's happening above the line, in other words, during the period, during the uh, accounting period, is transactions come in in the form of paperwork like bills and invoices and deposit slips and the accountant or the bookkeeper is going to process them in the journal. So they're journalizing the transactions in this journal and then every time something is posted in this journal either the computer will post it to the ledger over here or if it's a manual system, the accounting, excuse me, the accountant or the bookkeeper will post to the ledgers. Now, the ledgers over here, this version up here in the upper right hand corner is just like the learning version of the ledger. So it shows the accounts in T account format. Like here's the cash account with a balance 4,800, accounts receivable, balance 2,200, et cetera. Now, the official ledger will look more like something like this where you have one section for cash, you have a debit and credit for the actual transaction, and then you have the balance column. So this is what the ledger looks like officially, but we usually, when we're learning accounting, we usually show the ledger in T account form. So again, we get a source document like a check or a bill or a copy of a deposit slip, and we put it in the journal and then each journal transaction is going to be posted to either the this version of the ledger or the official version of the ledger. So that's going to be happening repeatedly throughout the accounting period. And then at the end of the period, which is everything below this blue line, the account the accountant is going to use a worksheet and the main purpose of the worksheet is to adjust accounts. And some examples of adjusting the accounts is showing how much do we owe our employees at the end of the period. So then we have to show that we have a salary payable amount that we owe the employees. We might have to calculate how much prepaid rent has expired. So we need to adjust that prepaid rent downwards to be accurate. And the same with prepaid insurance. We have to adjust the account downwards to show how much prepaid insurance has expired. And our office supplies, we have to figure out how much office supplies have been used and adjust that account downward so that the office supply account is accurate. And then when we're done with the worksheet, we use it to prepare the financial statements. After that, we take the adjusting entries from the worksheet and we journalize them. So we would go back up here to the journal, 
and we journalize the adjustments and anything of course that's in the journal will have to be posted to either one of these forms of the ledger either the educational form or the real ledger the real life ledger and then after the adjustments have been entered in the journal and then posted to the ledger we're going to close certain accounts and those are the temporary accounts called revenue expense and draw also known as withdrawal so we're going to close those in the journal and we'll find out why we close those and then we're going to post those transactions to the ledger and then when we're done with the closing entries we're going to close excuse me we're going to prepare a post closing trial balance post closing just means after closing so we're going to take our balances from our ledger either this format of the ledger or the official format we're going to take all these balances like cash in this example has fifty nine hundred dollars and we're going to post any account that has a balance on the trial balance and we're going to check that debits equal credits